Welcome to the Silicon Labs introductory video on setting up EFR32 development kit hardware. This video covers correctly installing a radio board, key wireless starter kit mainboard features, and how to know that the assembled device is functioning correctly. The kit used in this video is an EFR32 MG12 kit. While the contents of the kits vary based on the parts ordered, in general, a kit contains three wireless starter kit mainboards and three radio boards recommended for development. Under the tray are the other kit components, typically including three USB cables, battery holders, and a second set of radio boards. For this video, I'll use one radio board, one mainboard, and one cable. To install a radio board, make sure that the pins and mountings are aligned and then press firmly and evenly on each end to avoid bending the connectors. When the radio board is properly installed, it's seated all the way into its mounting. When it isn't correctly installed, you can see a gap. Press the radio board down again to make sure it's firmly seated. The wireless starter kit main board has a few features that are useful to recognize when beginning development. A power LED and the display turn on when the board is powered, and a green LED shows a heartbeat when the board is working properly. Example applications often use the two buttons and the two yellow LEDs for input and output. When you download Simplicity Studio, it helps if the development target device is connected. Plug a cable into the main board and the other end into a USB port on your computer. The blue LED and the LCD both turn on immediately, and shortly thereafter, the green LED heartbeat begins. That completes hardware setup. Next, you can download Simplicity Studio and a wireless protocol. And finally, you can create a protocol-specific test example, as shown in their respective videos. Thank you for watching.